Why, hello, everyone. I felt like doing an impromptu stream today. I mean, I've just started playing Hades recently, and it's a very good game. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna wipe out my old file. Okay. The one on the far right is, like, my main my main file so far. I've managed to get to Asphodel, which is the third, second area. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna explain basically what Hades is in a second. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. This game is beautiful. My father. To hell with this place. Oh, I would have thought it would do like explain something. Okay. So, uh, you're the son of Hades. Uh, oh god, what is his name? <laughs> I always forget it. <laughs> oh, whatever. The main character's the son of Hades. Uh, y you are trying to escape the underworld because your the rest of your family, the gods of Mount Olympus, have invited you to basically become one of them. And your father does not want that because he hates them all with passion. Uh, it, this is a uh, roguelike, so basically you do a run, you gain power over that run, and you gain a few things that are like permanent uh, currencies that you can use to get buffs for other runs, but the power that you gain each run is separate, and when you die you lose it. This is a... Uh, this is the either fourth or fifth game by Supergiant Games. They are the one, the creators of Bastion, Pyre, Transistor. Um, I think it is four. Bastion was like an amazing storytelling experience. It was their very first game and kind of blew up. Uh, Hades does not disappoint. It is as gorgeous and atmospheric as Bastion was, but a different way. If there's any issues with the sound, like the sound balance, like being able to hear me over the music or being able to hear the music over me and such, just tell me. I'm going to be using the in-game music instead of actually adding in my own music because the music in this game is great. I'm leaving. Try and stop me. These guys can very easily be uh, stun locked. So like locked into place by just hitting them repeatedly. I believe I can destroy their projectiles. Yep. Wasn't sure if I needed a buff for that. You don't want them to... You don't want them to make distance from you. Okay, so... The gods of Olympus can grant you blessings from afar. They can send you messages, but... You can't... I don't believe you can actually speak to them directly. Because, like... They don't have much power in the underworld. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> Zagreus. Hades, Olympus, That's the name. This message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. So you get to pick one of three different buffs to, uh... 
go with from this particular god. You'll get more chances and more buffs from random gods. You can get a bunch from the same one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but you can only ha generally have one one particular buff on one scale at a time. You have three scales. You have your attack, which is just your left click, your basic attack. You have your special, I think it's just called special, which is uh, on Q. Uh, with the sword, it's a ground slam. You have your cast, which is your right click. And then you have your dash, which is on space bar. And you've been seeing me use dash constantly. <laughs> Okay, I can gain deflect. Turn foes attacks back against them. Don't totally know how deflect works yet. But this will just make my main attack stronger, and generally I like that. Uh, I'm not too big a fan of the cast unless I specifically make my cast better. I'll show you in a second what it does. And I don't find that I really deal damage with dash. But thank you. So this is the cast right here. It's just one little projectile, and it uses up the uh, little triangle things in the bottom left-hand corner. You need to pick them up again before you can cast it. It's not particularly strong. Uh, when you transform it into something else, it's much better. But until then, I don't generally use it too much. So these little skulls are pretty weak, but they charge at you. So it can be kind of hard to, to avoid their damage sometimes. And the damage that you take, like your health doesn't regenerate itself. You have to get some sort of reward or something like that to actually get it. Okay, I got a key. Awesome. You can use these to uh, give yourself permanent upgrades. So that is a permanent upgrade for my character for, for this entire playthrough uh unlike the rest of the upgrades which will all be just generally for this particular run and so once i die i will lose all my upgrades except that but generally you don't really want to take much damage if you can avoid it like even small amounts really is really bad Oh, also, there's traps everywhere. These big things with the lions on them are pressure plates. The traps can hit both you and the enemies, so you can use the traps basically to trick the enemies into uh, into being killed by something. A divine arrow. They don't activate once the uh, encounter is done, but uh, this one, the lion statue here, just like shoots out at you depending on which one. It just shoots out whichever pad you step onto, and you can use that to your advantage, or it can hurt you. Usually it hurts me. <laughs> Artemis! Heavenly Archer I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. I'm going to be letting the characters talk a lot during this because it's one of the greatest assets of the game and I don't really want to steal their thunder. Ah, special! So I could have a stronger special, a stronger ground slam and it has a chance to crit. That would be nice for bigger packs. Uh, da oh, I really do like the dash strike. And this one is just critical damage doing anything. Which is also really good. Uh, I think I used the dash strike enough to make it worthwhile to pick this out of pressure points. So I I do very much like pressure points. The power of the hunt sounds like good company. Because this is this is just the dash strike. Each exit has its own reward. Okay, so there's two different directions. Either I can take the key, which is a permanent upgrade, or I can take the Shadow gems, I forgot they're called. They are also permanent upgrades. There's three permanent upgrade currencies, and you kind of want a little bit of each. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to pick the keys, just because they unlock weapons, and the weapons, well, 
they give you a lot of opportunity to make more shadow gems, like get more in general. Louts. These guys can be stun locked, which is great, but if they get out of it, then it can be really rough. Like their charge is pretty, pretty bad. Okay, we have our first, first shielded mobs. They had a yellow health bar first, which you had to get through, and they can't be stunned while they have a yellow health bar. Then they go down to the red health bar when it breaks, and they're like normal. One for the stash. I'm hurt. Can't heal myself, but I can fight. Okay, so on the left, we have permanent health increase, and on the right, we have money. No, on the right, that's a shop. We, don't, we only have 46 coins. Most things are 50 to 250. So we're going to go for the permanent health upgrade. Generally, it's what I will pick. Ooh. I'm trying to interrupt him before... Before he charges. Now, where's the other one? Hey, come over here. Ah, the trap didn't get him. Yes! Trap kill. Awesome. So you get 25 health for taking the hearts. Uh, 25 max health and 25 uh, just current health. You can also break a lot of the things in here. Or you can in a lot of places. There's actually no pillars here you can break. That's odd. You can make the pillars crumble and fall on things. Like all these ones. And then they will actually regenerate really quickly. Fuck. I've ended runs on top of spike traps before. It is the worst feeling. Damn it! That same spike trap has gotten me three times now. Okay. He is a shielded one, a boss monster. So I can't stun lock him like the normal versions. These ones you want to make them like charge up for their attack because they have a long charge time. And then you can attack them from behind. Because you'll have time. Once they're like recharging from the strike. And I want to break the shield because now, now I can unlock him. What do we have here? Okay. Which path? So the the palm. I don't totally. I don't know the name of it. It upgrades one of your current abilities, or I can get a new one. And I think I'd rather have a new one at this point. More abilities is good. Ooh. Louts with shields, so I can't stun lock them. The skulls aren't very dangerous, but they tend to chip away at you over time, and that can be really dangerous over time. It can be risky to leave them unchecked. Yeah! That- the dropping that pillar on him helped a lot. In the name of Hades. <gasps> Ooh, so- so these things can come in different rarities. Uh, these are- the top two are just default, uh, common rarity. This is an epic, so it's the- so you can get this as, like, a basic skill, but the epic version is just straight up more powerful. Uh, after you cast or hit with an attack or special fire a seeker arrow. That actually sounds really cool. No, I guess it doesn't count when you're not in an instance. Or a fight. This is a coin area. You can gather coins here. Oh, I recognize this.
Oh, wow. The sneaker arrows are really cool. Oh, that's so cool! Having the spikes do all the work. Oh, that's awesome. Nah, I was trying to avoid that lout, but that didn't work. to get rough. Okay, so this will be a mini-boss, I believe. That is Dionysus' blessing, so the god of wine, merriment, and partying. Uh -oh. Okay, these guys are really, really dangerous. So I'm gonna be probably gonna be quiet for a second. I have to be careful as soon as they die they explode. Yep. Once their once their shell is broken, they can be Ooh, once their, shell is, their shield is broken, you can stun lock them pretty easy, but with two of them there, it doesn't it doesn't matter so much. Plus they drop a bomb on death. That was revelry? People having a good time? Well sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus I'll accept this message. Hey there, Zagman, how's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. I really do like Dionysus in general. Uh, he has a few different things that he can give you. Uh, one of the main effects that he d does is call you can cause a debuff called Hangover, which basically just does like a, a small amount of damage like every few seconds for a short while. Ooh, I can change my cast, my right click into something more useful. Ooh, or I can get a nectar, which is a which will give me twenty five give me twenty five life, and it will also give me well a nectar. Nectar you can give nectar the ambrosia nectar of the gods to any. More or less any NPC that you want, and it will unlock. They'll basically become more favorable to you. And the first time you give it to them, they will give you a trinket of some sort for you to use during your run. You can have one trinket active at any time. Uh, depending on who you pick, it can be really powerful. And I'm going to pick this because it is a permanent buff that I can get to my to these this playthrough. I'd rather do that. Leave it to the god of wine to lighten things up around here. Who should I give this to? Also, I need the life badly. <laughs> uh, I do like the festive fog cast though, because this is shitty. Hi. They absorb my blow. Oh, no! Oh, wow. The extra damage from the Seeker arrows is ridiculous. Like, if you're attacking fast enough, you really, really shoot out a lot of arrows. Ow. Another key or more shards of darkness? Um, key. 
they're probably they're the easiest way for me to uh, gain power right now. So I'll be referring to stuff that benefits this uh, this particular playthrough right here as a run or an escape attempt. That's what the game calls it. And then I'll be referring to buffs that stay with me through every run as account bound buffs. Oops. Didn't mean to throw that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the CK arrow after I threw the, uh, after I used my cast and finished off the enemy, I like that. Ooh, I have three keys. That's really good for my first ever run on this account. Kieran's show. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I have enough to buy a lot of stuff. Hmm. Either I can buy the ability and the max health, or I can buy a health increase and the, and the ability, or health increase and the max health. Uh, it might sound a bit arrogant to say this, but I'm going to rely on skill uh, rather than the uh, skill the skill there. And I'm just going to hope, because health is more important. And this this little sign right here, this is the boss of this area. So I will move up to a different level after I defeat this boss. Uh, I probably will not defeat her the first time. This game is meant to, like, you're meant to do escape run after escape run. And, like, each time you become a little bit more powerful through permanent upgrades and through skill. No need to thank me, mate. Also, you can talk to various creatures. Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying dangers far beyond the Underworld Prince's reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. <laughs> Charon. Charon? Why, good to see you, Charon, mate. Charon. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and sure is awfully convenient to be running a deal like this. I had all this coin I wanted to get rid of. So he is the uh, quote-unquote boatman for the River Styx. The uh, basically the myth of when you die, you are taken through the River Styx to the underworld to live out the rest of your eternal life. Is the idea, and he is that one. Well, this is awkward. Hi, Megara. Halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Megan. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. The first of the three, th the first of the three furies. Megara the Fury. She has a few different attacks. She has that dash. If you stay too close, she has a whip spin like that, and she has other phases. Ow! You also be careful because there are other things spawning in the arena while you're doing this. And this is why I needed extra help. Ah! I'm not very good at judging the length of the whip yet. Oh, this is an idea. I can kill the other things, and the Seeker arrows can damage her. Oh, and I also need to not walk on traps. That's really not useful. Have some of this. 
Switching back to phase one. Yeah, he she does that at three quarters health. Ah! And it just gets added to her repertoire. Fuck! I lied to Ashton time. Oh well. Godhood gain. Damage resistance 22%. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> it, it, I have a hard time avoiding it sometimes. Yes, carry on, everyone. Don't mind me. Welcome to the Hall of Hades. This is your home, and well, more correctly, it's the home of your father. Welcome to the House of Hades, where. Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. Back already. No, I'm gonna ignore you. You've returned. Achilles. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances. Remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. I think what I'm gonna do is there's lots of little blips like this where it, like you can find out more about the environment. Uh, I think I'm going to avoid all of that environmental lore during this playthrough because this game is extremely good, and if you want to know the lore badly enough, you'll play it. <laughs> Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how is your wanton ransacking of my domain? And I don't really want to take anything away from the developers, because they worked very hard on this. Greetings, Father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go. See for yourself. If I was truly never going to reach the surface, then you wouldn't bother to say anything. The only reason why you dissuade someone is because of a chance. And now for the bestest boy. There's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, Cerberus. Our watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy. To deepest melancholy. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. I'm gonna pet him again. Don't pet your other heads. Don't bite my arm off. Deal? Wait, I can give him... I can give him a gift? I can give Ambrosia to a dog? Well, this is... There is a very optimal thing to do with your first Ambrosia, and I am not doing it. Look what I got for you, boy. As one of Cerberus' heads receives the prince's gift, another muzzles something back into his hand. Thank you, boy. Yeah, spike collar. Mommy! Do not despair, child. Dark Such mommy. Facts are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. We made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. So, if you look at her amulet on her chest, her earrings, or the jewel on her forehead, they're all the exact same mark as like the shards of darkness that you're picking up because she is darkness night incarnate. She's the goddess Nyx. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Then go. Into my bedroom. Hey, room. I'm back. 
<laughs> I can't rest yet. Who needs can I? Sleep? No, I can't rest yet. The uh, rest gives you dream sequences that you can go through. They give you, like, lore information and such. Okay, I'll reflect in the mirror. So this is where you're going to use your... Can I actually see what, what they are? No? Okay. Still, still can't get the actual name for them. Uh, so these are a few different options. You can use those keys from earlier to unlock more options of things you can invest in. But for now... Shadow Presence... More damage than striking from behind. Chthonic Vitality. Restore a small amount of health when you exit a chamber. Death Defiance, which is the most important one of them all. Where every, the first time you die, you use up a Death Defiance charge. And you have one every run. And it restore it brings you back to life and restores you 50% health. So it's basically... It's a second life. So that's the most important thing. And then Greater Reflexes, which allows you to perform a second dash, which is also extremely good. So I'm not going to put anything to the top two yet. I'm going to hold off because I want to get... Ideally, if I can come back with 80, then I'll pick both of these. If not, I might just pick Greater Reflexes because being able to dash around is really nice. Or double dash. Okay. So this is the main area where you're going to use your keys. Uh, you can pick one of these different weapons and you pay keys to unlock them. So the shield is three keys, the spear is four keys, and the bow is one. Also, trinkets. Got something new to try. Let's see. Oh, adds 20, plus 25 to your life total. So I start with 75 health instead of 50. That's actually really powerful. Okay. I'm really glad that I gave Cerberus that uh, Ambrosia now. I didn't realize this thing was that powerful. I'm used to using, I think it's this one right here. Uh, I'll show you eventually what that one is, though. Go with that one. Because we haven't seen I'm the person yet for it. There. So this is the sword that I'm using currently. Do I want the shield? I'm going to take the bow. I think. Yeah, I'm going to take the bow. Go. The heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Over here. What the? Here we are. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. He's he's basically a test dummy. Oh yeah. So this the left click is a charge up attack. If you wait till it flashes, you get an extra powerful attack. Basically the more it charges the better. Uh, right clicks is the same as usual. Uh, volley fire is your special, your Q. And there's nothing to stop you from just spamming it, so it's actually really nice, especially against like a large amount of skulls. And dash strike. How does that work? Oops. Oh, it helps you charge faster. That's cool. <laughs> Bet I got you pretty good. Yeah, this guy doesn't go away. He just dies and comes back. Wow, you charge at like double speed if you dash strike. That's cool. Okay. No turning back. I'll go out with my dog collar and my bow. And Thunder. Is that yes, the Zeus. And the start of every run, you are supposed to get a god's power. We didn't for the first run because it was just a um, tutorial, but this, this is like the first real run. Actually, why is there... What is... Hmm. There's a little skull beside me. I'm kind of curious what that is, but whatever. Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. We're gonna talk to the Allfather. 
Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Hades would be so mad if he realized that uh, Zagreus was actually talking to Zeus, or any of the Olympians. Okay, my attack can uh, cause chain lightning, really good. My special... Oh. My special causes the lightning bolt strike nearby enemies. I mean, I kind of like the volley fire, I think that replaces it. If it casts a burst of chain lightning bounce between foes, that is the one I want. Because instead of that, never thought I'd see the day or night, whenever. Instead of that stupid cast thing, we have this. Oh, well, it's slightly less stupid now. It looks much cooler when there's like multiple things for it to bounce between. I'll I'll show you when there's actually things. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, I have enough to buy Death Defiance now. The second life. Two, two more, or 20 more, will give me the ability to get the Greater Reflexes, which give the second dash. Oh, they're in the wrong spot for the trap. Crashing waves. The trident. It's Sidon. Two. It's got to be. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Uncle number two, Electric Boogaloo. Boy, oh, there, little Hades. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We have a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Ooh, a rare. Okay, Tidal Dash. Your dash damages things and knocks them away. So any... Dar okay, it's just called Darkness, the currency. So Gemstones, which you can use to renovate the House of Hades, which can give you other benefits. Darkness for permanently growing stronger, and Cash. Basically. Oh, this one would just give me a random assortment of everything, though. That's really good. I don't actually know how much you get of each. I'm going to bank on long-term value. I'm going to take Ocean's Bounty. The power of the sea should be of help. Okay, so I should be getting 15 from this instead of 10. Come get shot. Oh, fuck. Immediately walk into the spike trap. I'm still not, like, amazing with the bow. I'm learning. Oh, 16! Oh, because it's 55%, which is 15 and a half, and it rounds up to 16. Okay. I'm not used to games being forgiving enough to round up for me. <laughs> okay, this spawns skulls there. Oh wow, I got all of them with that. Ah! 
God damn it! Stupid. Stupid. Spikes. Okay, so my health isn't buffed from... From the... Whatever it's called. The, uh, Seize Bounty. Do I want to fight a mini-boss, which would be the Bombers? Or... Probably the Bombers. Or do I want a key? I really would like to get the Spear. Which is four keys. This will give me a third key, since I spent one on the bow. So I just need to get this and another key. Ooh. There's a... The shop right there, that's good. Or Will of Blessing, something like that. God, it's so embarrassing to dodge onto spikes. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Slain bow is fifteen percent chance to drop health items. Instantly gain gems. Warrior attacks do thirty percent more damage. Hmm. I can get both the uh Gaius Treasure and the Eye of Lamia. I think I'll do that. Here then. Now I have some gems. Oh, I think that's uh, Ares. The ability for Ares. I do like his stuff very much, so... I guess the God of War would have some powerful buffs. Ooh! Sandwich! Ah. Wow, they drop a lot of food. I'm not really fighting anything with Rain's attack, so they're all just getting obliterated. Show up, I guess. In the name of Hades. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there. To say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. Ah, okay. Dash creates a blade rift where you started. Slashing metal vortex rapidly deals damage in an area. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need that for a ranged build. It just makes everything do more damage. I'm going to go with Doom. So the way that Doom works is basically after a few seconds, uh, like you attack something, then after a few seconds they take extra damage. It's really useful for dealing with the mages because then you can just pop them once and uh, they'll die from Doom. More bloodshed then. Okay, well I'm not going to the shop because I have no money. So I guess I'm going to to this do this boss and see Aphrodite. You and me. Oh, he wasn't close enough to his friend. Ow! He wasn't close enough to his friend to uh, chain lightning. That's frustrating. Need to get rid of that shield! Okay, show broken. Oh, I do appreciate having a ranged build for dealing with these guys. It does actually help a lot. Well, except for the fact that I can't stun lock them. 
anyone else. Ah, uh, Aphrodite. Also, by the way, she's naked. It must be a mess. Let's see here. Hi. Why, hello, hello there, little god thing. I have to say, you're quite the specimen, and so I've decided I shall aid you for the moment. You interested? She is gorgeous. Oh! Oh, two epics and a rare! Oh, yes, thank you! Oh, health chambers are worth more. Dash deals damage where you end up and inflicts weak, which just makes them deal less damage. Or your special deals more damage and inflicts weakness. Having the volley fire do more damage and weaken things would be really nice, especially because, like, if it just has a little bit more damage, I could potentially wipe out skulls in one hit from them. Interesting. And the power to break oh. Hands. Sure, I don't see why not. It makes it purple. That's really cool. Oh, just barely out of my range. That's what you get. Oh, my volley fire breaks their projectiles! Well, if it hits them. I guess that's good, because, like, the sword breaks projectiles, too. And I don't have the sword. But if I did, I'd be able to do that easily, so I guess that's, like, the compromise. Ooh, that was close. Can I? I can shoot through this? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize I could shoot through that. That's great. Oh, chain lightning for the win. Ow. It's nice it's kind of hard to tell what you're hitting when it comes to the arrow, because, like, just because of, like, the two and a half deep perspective. Ooh. You know what? I am... I might be able to get Greater Reflexes and Death Defiance, because I need 80 for that. So I need two more... two more Rooms of Darkness. Uh, okay. I... Mm, Either I get money or upgrade my ability. I'm gonna upgrade my abilities. You just get to pick one, whichever one you want to make better. More trouble. Why, yes, I'll give you weakness. You can't hurt me as much. Oh, I almost dodged into spikes. Oh, my attacks pierce. I never realized that. Oh, so... Okay. I might want to focus on doing more damage quicker because of the Doom will stack up. Power of Olympus. Okay. Which one do I want? Oh, the Doom is really good. 80 is enough that... If I inflict Doom on any of the... Actually, no, I can kill all the Skulls in one hit. I actually might, if I have 80 Doom, be able to... Kill the Mages in one hit, which would be really nice. Though I could make the Chain Lightning better, too. Not that I've been using it a ton, but... I have a lot of good AoE already, so I don't really need it as much. I'm gonna pick the Doom. I feel like that's gonna have the Too most benefit. Of these upon Olympus. Okay, well I don't need I don't need health. Next boon you have will you find will have upgraded rarity, so like the next ability from the gods. Or just my special deals damage for the next six encounters. I'm gonna go with update upgraded your yeah. Upgraded rarity. Not not urity. Okay, so either a mini boss or well, I want darkness. 
I'm going to be very, very close to both Death Defiance and Grid Reflexes soon. Oh, I only have to hit them twice now to kill them with the Doom. Hehe, <laughs> Doom pinched him off. Got stuck on the pillar. Whoa! Oh, I didn't expect that much from the... <laughs> A bunch of pillars fell, and that's what... That's why they all just got wiped out there. That was completely accidental. What is this? I don't recognize that symbol. Well, okay, I'm gonna pick that. Wait. <gasps> um. Hephaestus? No. Yes? Hey, Princess. Sisyphus! I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And, um, what are you doing here? Well, two of. The second and third fairy sister are not around right now. They're elsewhere, not in the. Un I don't think they're even in the underworld. And Megara, the first of the furies, is waiting up ahead for me. Sisyphus is the. Uh, um, if you're not familiar, he's the the. Um, he is the story of the man who is forced to roll a boulder up up a hill basically for eternity, and every time he gets to the top, it rolls back down. It's meant to just be, like, a adage for purgatory. Well, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury Sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. I'll just go about my business now, and you take care. He's really nice. Oh! I didn't really- oh, I get to choose things. Okay, I'm 94 of 100 health, so not that. I can either get money or darkness. Well, I need two more darkness to... Hmm. It's probably Megara next, realistically. And I will pro- if, if I lose there, and I quite likely will, then I won't have a chance to get more darkness, so I'm gonna pick darkness. Good idea. 58! Oh my gosh. Oh, shit, it's a shop. <laughs> and I don't have any money. Ah. Uh... Oh well. Still, that I'm going to be able to get a lot of good stuff. Ooh! Darkness. Oh my gosh, I have so much darkness now. It's great. Now it's Megara. Well, time to get murdered. Hey there, Meg. I have a lot more abilities though this time. Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay for both of us. Come then. Oh, I'm doing way more damage this time. Plus, I don't even need to be near her. I think the first time I actually killed her was with the bow, come to think of it. Oh, she got spiked! No effect. Okay, and I'm just gonna hide that. Ah, chain lightning. Okay, I don't need mage projectiles adding to this. Ah, I walked on spikes. Ah. No. Mm, I'd rather not. Yeah, I can one-shot the mages now. Here's my 
Oh, I should weaken her. Dash, please. Nope. Okay. No! 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 Fuck. Man, if I had Doom on the volley, that would be amazing. No! Yeah, come over here. I have some spikes for you. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Holy shit, she's at 20% health. I'm gonna get rid of some of the mages that are firing at me so I don't lose much health. Okay, that's all of them. Yeah. Yes. Wow, okay, second second escape run and I managed to knock out Megara. Cool, I get some Titan's blood. Uh I don't know what this is for yet actually. Uh every time you beat a boss with a weapon for the first time, so I won't get it again for the bow, you get a Titan's Blood, and that can be used to strengthen something. They got me. No way to patch up. Got to keep going. Okay. So now we get, like, a little recovery room, and then we get to go into the next level. How did you... Ugh. Hi, Daddy. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Okay, so I have money for very little. Oh, I can gain passive move speed. Oh, 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 that's really good. Uh, so I have the uh, the pool of purging, which can allow you to sell boons if you don't want them anymore. Uh, I'm not really using the chain lightning very much. I could sell that. But it only gives me 30, so I might as well have like a decent cast. So I'm going to keep everything I have and just buy the, whatever that was, the darkness and movement speed. I mean, movement speed's never bad. Yeah, this game does get very frantic. Sorry I'm not responding very often or very well. I'm just, <laughs> there's a lot of focus that goes into this game. So it, it's, it just, I'm still fairly new to it, so it's hard to actually focus and get anything done at the same time or to like get anything done and talk at the same time dear god i'm still flustered from the megara fight i can't believe i won that Whew. okay give me a uh, i'm gonna take a uh, like three minute intermission i'll be right back i'm just gonna go collect myself
Okay, I'm back. Got myself a beverage. Need to stay hydrated. Ah, I love peace tea. Not an advertisement, but it is very good. <laughs> Did I get... You can get Zagreus stuck in the bow position. Just by left-clicking. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I didn't realize that the bow goes away if you just walk around for a bit. It's interesting. I don't think I've gone this far. Good. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Welcome to Asphodel. So, these are the lava rivers, and we get to choose this boat to take. So that gives you a key, and that's the only one. Ooh. This place has definitely seen better days. That is a game screenshot and a half. I love, I love this game's artwork so much. It is such a gorgeous game. Like, I... Honestly, I've... I mean, I've only put, like, ten hours into it, but so far I have yet to have a single complaint with the game, and I can be fairly picky. Just, the art's amazing. The combat feels really good and incredibly natural. Like, ridiculously natural. And, like, the... Oh, just the music's good. Everything's good. Uh, stepping into... Stepping into lava's bad, so you have to dash, dash over that. I should mention that. Slam dances. Okay, so this, these are small versions of the bomb bosses that we've been fighting. Called Slam Dancers. They also ha leave a bomb... Ah, leave a bomb on death. And it's dead. Look who. Oh, fuck. Oh, the pierce and works really well with Doom. Cause you get to hit apply Doom to a bunch of things at once. A pleasure. Ooh, that's enough keys. I can get the spear now. Uh, max health or money? I don't really have any money, so money might be good. But I, I always feel like max health is just more important than money. Though you can technically buy max health if you get the right items in the shop. I'm okay on health. I'm going to take the money and see if that's a good idea or not. It might not be. Ooh. Little Gorgon things. I've seen these before. Oh no. So these have Seeker projectiles, which will petrify you. The petrification doesn't last too long, but it's long enough for you to take damage. And don't really need damage taken. Come back here, you fuck. Yeah, I know you're over there. And... dead. Ah, I almost got him with the bomb. Ow. Got to hold on. Ooh, a boss. Boss Slam Dancer. That's not good. Oh! He got petrified! I didn't realize that you could ha get enemies petrified. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. So does that mean... Can I make the Medusa... Ah! Can I get one of the Medusas petrified? Oh, okay, no, you can't. 
I guess that makes sense that you, they they can't be petrified themselves. 155 coins, nice. Oh, you can sell things. Don't need it. Oh, I fucking love the music in this game so much. Okay. Key. These won't help me immediately. Shop will. Hi, Charon. Okay. So, either I can get an Ares ability... Uh... I can upgrade one of my abilities, or I can get a key. So I have one upgrade for... You can get one upgrade for each of your abilities. I have something on my attack, on my special, and on, on my cast. I don't have anything on my dodge. I think I'd rather upgrade, honestly. Thank you, mate. Ooh, I could have increased doom. Thank you. Juicy. And I'll take a key, because the keys aren't bad, I just only care about getting... Well, actually, I guess I should probably get to eight keys, because that will unlock all weapons. To, like, all the weapons I have available to myself right now. And that's really good for reasons I won't explain right now. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So this thing, like, kind of floats in the air, and then it, like, falls on you, which is a really dangerous combination with something that can lock you in place. Ah! Oh, I'm so... Oh, this is not good. I think it would help me, actually, to wait till he decides where to fall, and then move. Let him there, and then dash. Let him go, and... Oh. Oh, fuck. Too many things going on. Dash. Oh, I dash into lava. Oh my gosh. I managed to kill the... Whatever the fuck they're called. I can't think of it right now. Oh no, I didn't dodge far enough! No! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you get 2% damage resistance every time? Cool. Each time I die like that, I come back stronger. You do. Welcome back. It's usually pretty quiet. Glad to keep things interesting. <clears throat> Happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles? I'm sure I wouldn't that. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them <laughs> Nix, what are you doing? All of this knows of him. Bestowing on him all those worthless blessings here within my realm. Our realm. Explain to me how exactly this is possible, Nix. Either your limitless power has considerably waned, or you are up to something. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Blood and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. So they have, like, somewhat similar levels of power I've started to get the concept of. Because, like, he, yes, he is the god of the underworld, but she is the god of all darkness in every realm. So... And she's also his wife. Some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. 
Okay, fountain chamber. Oh, so this is just a chamber you can walk into and get free health. That's great. Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. Cool, cool. Okay. Lots of different options. Scrying pool. Contain yeah. Contain faint traces of the past. I don't really care about that right now. Faced list of minor prophecies, so that will help because the prophecies will reward you if you complete certain things. Uh, this allows you to switch keepsakes in that room after the boss that you saw. I don't need that yet. Okay, Infernal Trove. Basically, there's like this little timed mission where it's like you kill everything as fast as you can and then you get a reward based on that. That is that is a fun little thing to add. The ever shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. Okay, and I'm out of gems. Hello, Meg. When the prodigal son returns. Everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. You get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be, and don't think you're gonna be so lucky next we meet out there. She's still gonna be there as a boss. Like, you still have to fight her every time. Like, she still has to do her job. Okay. Death Defiance. The next one's at 500, so that won't be for a little while. And Greater Reflexes, since you can only get it once. Oh, I could get more talents instead of weapons. Not sure what why not. Show me something new. Boiling blood. Deal bonus attack and special damage to foes with the cast charge thingy on them. So basically I can throw it at them and use that to deal more damage. Or raise your supply of cast charges. That sounds better. That would make my cast a lot more usable. Though Part of me just wants to just save up for 500 because the Death Defiance is just too good. And these aren't so much better that... Well, if I get a really good cast, this could actually make it much easier to gain darkness, though. I'm going to give it one. So I'll have two casts at a time. We're talking. And I'm going to grab the Boiling Blood while it's cheap. So... I can put up to two casts onto something, and then I'll do an extra 10% per blood. Or per cast, I think. Or maybe it's just 10% flat, as long as you have a cast charge, whatever there are on hey, them. Hey, Skelly! Skelly. You look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're going to get. For the time being, anyhow. How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. <laughs> You'll figure something out. I really like Skelly. Okay. Well, I've already beaten stuff with the bow, so I'm going to go back to the sword. Blade of the Underworld. I need your strength. Again. Oh, would you look at that? Shut up, Skelly. That looks like a Daedalus <gasps> hammer. Oh, Daedalus hammer. Oh, this is can be really good. That's for my weapon. Okay. Dash strike hits twice, deals 20% more damage. Your thrust. Every third attack deals 200% increased damage and has a 40% chance to critical strike. Okay. Your attacks restore two health per hit, but you have 60% less health. Oh gosh, um, I'd have like 30 health then. It's moderately terrifying. I think the Cruel Thrust is probably going to be the most useful. Daedalus, wherever you may be right now, thank you. Okay, so I now have Death Defiance, so I can... Oh, that was the thrust right there. I now have Death Defiance, so 
I can die once and get revived at 50% of my ma current maximum health. And by current, I mean whatever my maximum health is at the time. Darkness. Poseidon or Poseidon, okay. Oops, I didn't mean to go past that. Special deals more damage and knocks people away, foes away. That would make it more useful. Attack deals more damage and knocks foes I don't want my main attack to knock things away because it makes it harder to unlock them. I'm going to take the Tempest Flourish. Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? No, oh, not that. Okay, so it adds the water effect and then pushes things away. Now what? Give me keys. I need I need the the seven keys back so I can do the thing. So I can get all the weapons that are available to me. That loat looks bigger. Oh, that's that thrust on the third attack's really nice. Okay, either I upgrade something or get max health. Well, I don't really want to upgrade the the ground slam thing from Poseidon, so I'm just going to take this. Oh no, I hate these things. They just drop landmines everywhere. And then these things, which shoot lasers. They get interrupted really easily, though, thankfully. Keep me going for a bit. I always like to look around the level to make sure I'm not missing anything. Sisyphus! Hey, hey. You know, Prince Ed, I've not expected to run into you again. Not after all this time. Something I missed out in the house, or what? Not had much company of late, is all. Well, something's just about always amiss back home, sir. Figured it couldn't hurt to check up on things in Tartarus a bit more frequently. Well, I am grateful for it. I am the old boulder there, in turn. I'm used to going lengthy stretches on my own, but having visitors from time to time would do me well. Okay, I don't need that. I mean, darkness is always good. It's 50. Thanks. So I need another 350, and then I can get my second Death Defiance. And the bomber thing is again. Ooh, I got both of them with the thrust. Okay. Deal more damage than slamming bows into f bows, bows into barriers. Slamming foes into barriers. So that's like walls and stuff. Uh, cast damage foes in area and knocks them away. Uh, your attack does more damage and knocks foes away. Oh, it's an epic, but I don't really want to knock things away. Hmm. Let me make my cast actually useful. Okay. That's fun. Oh, that's like, this is like the perfect level for this cast.
No, not there. I didn't- ow. I dodged right into that one. Money! Lots of money! My attack failed the first time. It's hard to set up for like a good ground slam without things hitting you. Oh. Okay, that cast I love. Okay, shop or health? Shop. Because I can probably buy health in the shop. I think I hear the river. No, I can't, surprisingly. So either I can get darkness as an upgrade, or I can get Dionysus buff. Hey, good to see you out here, mate. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Dionysus buff because usually Dionysus is pretty good. Pleasure doing business. Oh no! I hit, I hit the palm of power accidentally. Oh, okay. Whatever. Well, I'm gonna use the flood shot then. Upgrade this. It's very fun. Okay, let's get myself some more darkness. Yeah. No! Ah, uh, they leave mines everywhere! Ah! This is why we kill them first. Nope! No, 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 no. Ooh, a shop! That doesn't actually help me, though. Well, it might have helped me a bit. All clear. I have a little bit of money. Hmm, let's see here. So, either restore health, increased armor... Armor. Oh! 50% damage to armor. Okay, that's the shield that they get. That actually would be kind of nice, especially for bosses. Not not for Megara, but like the mini bosses all have lots of armor. Hmm. The life is too important. Ooh. Gems. I want to get the prophecy table, which is twenty gems. As like soon as humanly possible. Oh, that thrust one shot him. Second crystal. Oh, I have it. Okay. Die, please. Thank you. Oh, that didn't kill him! He must have had lots of armor. Gemstones. For Ten. Okay, I need eight more, and then I can get the prophecies. Oh, a shop. This is not useful. Kieran's shop. Oh, well, I can buy food. 
second this part. Rather nothing. Oh no, I don't have enough abilities from Megara okay. right now. Even if you manage to get past me, there's it's not a matter of you're more stuck. Oh, I dodged right into her. And then into spikes. Oh my gosh. I'll take this back. Oh! How did you... Oh no. Okay, and run away. Ow. Run away. Oh, I was trying to lure her onto the spikes. That didn't work. Oh, I did that before she could... ...become vulnerable. Run away! I need to make sure I'm getting far enough away, or the whip will hit me. No, thank you. Do not like. Oh, it's a dash. She's actually. Su no! I don't want to be close for that. She's actually getting surprisingly low. Get rid of these so I'm not getting chip damage. No! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No! Got the cast back. Nope. Ow. No. Dodge through. Oh, I can't. I didn't. Ah, uh, I didn't dodge through her well enough. Oh, spike. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Nope, don't want. I don't accept the select call. Whip. Nope. Don't think. Nope. Oh, thank you. Don't want. Nope. Return to sender. Nope. Don't want. I need a return address. Nope. Things are exploding! shit. We're both almost dead. Urgh. Damn it. Death Defiance. Oh, she doesn't have death defiance. I do though. Got gotcha you that time, Meg. It sucks to use it up, but whatever. Some sort of power, but for what? Ooh, my old spike collar ranked up, which means. Oh, I give for, say, a healing flask of some sort. Which means. 
my uh, trinket from Cerberus leveled up. It only... You're going nowhere, boy. Shut up, Hades. It normally gives plus 25 maximum health uh, when you start the run, but it just ranked up again. So I imagine it probably gives like plus 50 now. I can't... I don't know how to check, though. Okay. Cast deals 50% increased damage. Damage striking. Undamaged. Increased damage striking. Undamaged foes. Restore up to 37%. 37 life. Let's think about this. Um. I am not using the ground slam thing at all. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm not using it. Well, this ought to help for sure. I'm gonna grab it all then. Going up. <laughs> That's pretty good. I have two Titans' blood now. That is on par with my uh, with my main playthrough. Made it to Asphodel. Ooh, an Ambrosia! Yay! I want to give an Ambrosia to Skelly. Skull crushes. That must be one of those infernal troves. Oh. You'll, you'll understand why I want to give it to Skelly once I give it to him, and you see what he has. I'm happy I can stunlock those, because it really sucks. Oh. Okay, you can semi stun lock them. Bottle of nectar. Yay, Ambrosia. Okay, so here's the first trove trial. Basically Oh. Basically, uh if you can get up to twenty five gems from this. Uh as soon as you start it, it starts counting down the number of reward you, you will get. And as soon as you kill everything it spawns, the countdown stops. How bad could it be? And then you get however many rewards are left. Come and get it. Like that. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to push it so far away. Fuck. Where are you? Oh, that wasn't a very fast trove at all. Oh, I only got seven. I'll just help myself. No, I needed eight for the prophecies. Darn it. Okay, we'll have to find more. Okay, either money or Aphrodite. I need abilities very badly. I can't just let my cast, which I can only use infrequently, be the only thing that helps me. Because that's... Spreaders. No, no, no. Spreaders. That is a name and a half. Okay, I just need to defend, I guess, with my sword against them. Oh, it's very hard to stay out of the fire sometime. sometimes. Nope. Kick him into lava, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. No! Oh, well, it killed that guy. No! Hi, Aphrodite. So, whenever you get a blessing, you have the chance to give the Ambrosia to the god. Not giving it to him. 
It's not coming to Aphrodite, though. Okay. Ooh, crush shot. No, I already have flood shot. I don't want to lose that. Even though it's really good. After you take damage, damage foes around you and inflict weakness. And resist some damage from nearby foes. Hmm. Well, I am very close to things, so maybe wake, Wave Destruction would be useful, but, like, I don't really have much health, and the idea is not to take damage. I'm gonna go with damage reduction. No level and hope. Pain. Okay, so either a Palm or... Oh, that's the one I came in on. Well, I can upgrade the damage reduction, hopefully. That's the one that needs it the most. Burn flingers. Ah, it's hoping the bomb would deal with him. No such luck. Oh wow, that broke the armor really well. Oh, he, one of them was standing in the lava, and he died. I guess they're not lava resistant. Yep, die in the lava. <laughs> Good enough to eat. Ooh, 14%, nice. Oh, oh, I can check my boons now. Or maybe I could before and I just didn't remember the button. <laughs> Okay, what is this? You're resistant to all sources of damage while in god mode. I don't have god mode on. Do I have god mode on? Oh. Basically, it makes the game easier. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm turning that off. Minus 24% damage reduction. Ah. Uh... So basically, you get more damage reduction, it looks like, if you have god mode on every time you die. One That's frustrating. Those. I was messing the settings earlier, but that shouldn't have turned on. I was wondering what that stupid buff was that was on the side. I didn't, didn't know how to check, so I was like, what is that? Hmm. Okay. Dionysus. Well, that explains how I managed to kill Megara twice already. Oh, God, I love snakes. oh no. No! Oh no. This is not good at all. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Thought I was progressing too quickly. I was like, hey, I'm getting better at this game. No, I'm not. Hey, where's Hypnos? I should check in with the house contractor. Well, I actually am probably getting better at the game, but. Chambers may contain urns with five monies. Obels. Ooh. Hmm. I want the prophecies. I have another job. The fated list of minor prophecies. That sounds somewhat exciting, I suppose. I'll get money from it. Requisition that useless bit of parchment. Shut up, Hades. Ah, uh, this is just a core. Oh, I might as well grab that. Contractor, my good shade, have yet another job for your distinguished team. Of all the things you think that takes priority. Shut up. 
that must be the fated list. Okay. Right question fate. Okay, so I met everyone, so I just got three Ambrosia from that. Uh, break three. Okay, so complete a run, get thousand darkness. Uh, meet all the Chthonic gods, and you get ten keys. And then the rest of these are just get all of these buffs for these different weapons. Actually, this one's buy all the weapons. And we'll get more prophecies over time. Oh, wait, I don't want anything here. Waiting for 500. Okay. This is the one who I would usually give my first Ambrosia to. For you, mate. Thought you might get a kick out of this. For me, pal? Awful nice. You're just awful nice. But guess what? I got this for you. Tit for tat, you understand? It deals the deal. We didn't make a deal, though. Cheers, mate. Lucky Tooth. So, the Lucky Tooth... That one there? ...gives you... ...basically another Death Defiance. So, if you die, you get restored up to 50% life. It's just extra... It's just an extra life, which makes it stupid powerful. Uh, so, the Cerberus's Collar, which we've been using, gives you an extra 38 life. And if I do 47 more encounters, I assume it'll rank up to 3, which will give it... Well, okay, it will rank up to free, 3, and I assume it will give you plus 50 to your life total. Starting each run with 100 life would also be really good. Almost as good as just coming back to life. Oh, I'm going to keep with the spike collar. Keep leveling it up. Don't suppose I can talk you into fighting. Not a chance, boyo. I'm paid to take it, not to dish it out. Now give it to me! Okay. Eh. Yeah, keep going. Eh. Eh. <laughs> no. I need to go get more keys. Ready. Let's see if this is a bit easy or a bit harder now that Gusta the so-called god mode is off. This mark, almost like a bat wing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, Hermes. Hey boss, found you. Good. Hermes, at your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be. Side hustle. Each time you enter a chamber, gain 10, 10 coins. Straight up move faster or dash one more time in a row. Oh my god. That's like a stupid hard pick. The greater haste is amazing, but the dash. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna pick the dash. Appreciate the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now let's go. Back to dust. Oh, it's so nice being able to triple dash. That's so nice. Wretches. Something for the mirror. Darkness. Poseidon. Brimstones. Oh, they're called brimstones? That's cute. I don't really want to leave the Brimstones alone, because their laser sucks. Is that something? Little Hades, it appears that you are moving right along, almost at an uncanny pace. I wonder how you got to be so fast. Aquatic exercise? <laughs> Attacks deal more damage than knock foes. I really don't want to knock things away with my sword. Special deals more damage and knocks foes away. What's my special? Oh, that's the ground slam thing. Uh, I don't really want that. I guess I'll take the flood shot again. I really like the flood shot. And then more keys, because that will allow me to get another weapon. Q. 
key to a weapon. Dionysus or money? Uh, Dionysus, I need abilities. Come over here, will you? Yeah, go go on the spikes. Ow. Well, the fact that the spikes need time to reset saved me there initially, but ooh, nice. God damn it! I gotta stop dashing onto the spikes. Okay, so it's the th it's my thrust, the third strike that pushes that knocks him back. I think I'm actually going to give an Ambrosia to Dionysus. Lord Dionysus, it's been great getting to know you, so please accept this humble offering. Now that is something, a right princely gift there, Zach. And just so happens, I got something here I have been meaning to give you. What I don't understand... Overflowing cup. What I don't understand is that they can only send messages to you, you can't send them back, so how did I just send an Ambrosia to him? Sometimes I have to wonder, man, what's going through Okay, attack flick inflicts hangover, so just it does four damage a second. Or sorry, four damage every half a second, and lasts for lasts for four seconds, so it does a total of 32 damage, and it can stack up to 5 times. Which is why Hangover is really powerful. Recover to the threshold. Uh, using a fountain restores all HP and gives you bonus damage. So you'll notice on the right side, there's something called Faded Choice. Uh, that basically means that like this is something I haven't selected before, and if I select it, it will be list. It will um, benefit me for the prophecies. Like it's one thing I need to select for the prophecies eventually to get a prophecy finished. But I'm gonna take Drunken Strike because I think that's the most useful one for Let now. See. Can I see what? I guess I can't see what. Uh trinket I got from Dionysus. Okay, shop. Nope. Pointless. I have no money. Oh, it's a boss pest. Wow, that died so quickly. They have, like, almost no health. <laughs> These guys do suck, though. Okay, and now I have enough... Oh, wow, I have five. Okay, I have enough to get a spear now. I really want the spear, because the spear is really fun. I think it's my favorite weapon. Okay. And let the hangover deal with him. Oh, guess there wasn't enough damage. <laughs> If I can get something that increases my attack speed, I need to take it. Because it works really well with Hangover. Okay, ignore the tanky boys. I need to kill the mages first. Ow. Stay dead. Ares. Did you happen to know, my kin, that you have slain more than a hundred foes since you began your quest? You have, for I am keeping count, and I am most impressed. <laughs> your Q inflicts doom. Ooh. After you take damage, inflict doom on foes around you. Oh, I don't like the after you take damage stuff, but that's really powerful. 
After slaying a foe, your next attack or special deals more damage. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. Oh, I'm taking Battle Rage. It's me or them. Uh, okay. I want the Daedalus Hammer. The Daedalus... The Daedalus Hammers always seem to give, like, some really nice stuff. I hate the Brimstones. They do... A lot... They do a lot of damage over, like... They do a lot of damage very quickly. My weapon's hidden talents. Okay. Your attack deals 300% damage to armor. Your attack deals 200% damage striking foes from behind. Your special hits a wider area and deals 20% more damage. I'm not really using my special right now. Well, doing more damage to armor sounds good. That'll do. I'll break their shields faster and then I can still mock them. Wait, did I already get the thing that gives me money in some pots? I think I did. Should make sure to break the pots. Doomstone. Okay. Doomstone. You basically just fucking destroy it. Don't. Don't give it a second. It spawns a bunch of things, and if they... If you walk between the Doomstone and the monsters, then... Then it, you'll take damage. The best way I've found to do with the Doomstone is to just fucking destroy it. Like, just attack as fast as you can, and you'll take the least damage doing it that way. Just accept that you will take damage and just focus only on attacking. Zeus! We'll keep you safe here from your father, Zagreus. But while you're still inside that underworld, there's only so much we can do. Ooh. Your special causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. Your dash causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. After you take damage, your foe is struck by lightning. Hmm. I'm not really using my special, but this could be the reason to start. Oh, I'm actually... Hold on a second. I triple dash. That's, that makes this really powerful. Thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Oh. Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh! <laughs> okay, no regrets. That's awesome. Oh. Ow. I guess he says I'm empty when you run out of... Who doesn't love this stuff? Stuff. Run out of cast orb things. I don't know what those are. Cast charges, I guess I'll call them. What's in the pool this time? Cast is 50% more damage... 50% damage, boat striking foes from behind, and restore life. We'll have to take the life rest restoration, because that only brings me up to 33 life, which is still very fucking low. I, I don't find that striking foes from behind really is something that I need to do often. Like, it's useful when you're dealing with, like, the big slammy guys, like, with the big maces, but nothing else- I feel like nothing else actually lets you hit them from behind. Like, I feel like it's hard to get behind most things. I don't know if I want the cast damage. That's like 20, I'll take I'll it. Take for that. Sisyphus! Okay, I always save one Ambrosia for Sisyphus. Purely because I think he's a nice guy. <laughs> hey sir, thought this might ease your burden for a while. Now hold a moment, Highness. I cannot accept something like this. Not without giving back a little something in return, that is. 
Thanks for that, sir. Shadow Jackal. I don't actually know what his drink it does. I just like him. If I may be so bold, your highness, I was wondering what brings you Look, I have to level with you, Sisyphus. I'm leaving the house. I've had quite enough. You understand, I'm sure. I'm going to the surface. I want to bring him with oh, me. That is quite an undertaking, Prince. If it wasn't you yourself proposing it, I'd like to call it madness, truth be told. Though, you're just mad enough to pull it off. Well, hey, I hope you make it. Good fortune out there. Oh my gosh, we could have like a homeward bound journey. Just like me, Sisyphus, and Cerberus. All heading to Mount Olympus. <laughs> oh, I need health badly. But darkness will help me permanently. Mm. I don't know what's next. Like, I sh Megara's coming up soon. I need the healing from Megara. Actually, I might just fucking die to her. Hmm. If that's the case, maybe darkness is better. Just because then I'm not... Yeah. Then I am not banking on this particular run. Okay. I got you covered. All right. Careful out there. 252 more darkness to go, and then I get my second death defiance. Ow. Ow. What? What am I taking damage from? Or, wait, why do I have flames coming out of my head? Oh, because I killed something, so I deal extra damage because of Battle Rage. Oh, these things are actually really useful for that thing, because it's really quick to kill them. Oh, no, 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 not living the pests. Pest control time. Ooh. Health is good, but I think I can... I'm going to hope I can buy some. Because I have 216 coins. Kieran's shop. Yes, I can buy some health. Okay. Here's the fee. And do I want a Zeus thing for... I mean, I, the only thing I'd be upgrading is my special. It might actually be better for me to upgrade my hangover damage or something instead. Hey, Carol. If there happens to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me a sign, won't you? Great. So this is a boss of some sort, but it doesn't have, like... I would think it would have something to denote if it's Megara, but I don't see anything. I'm gonna buy the power-up. The dash lightning bolt's pretty cool, too. Battle Rage isn't really going to help me. In, well, actually, I guess I could play to Battle Rage. But I'm just mainly thinking of the Megara fight, because I want to get past her is the most important thing right now. Hangover's really nice, because I don't have to hit her very many times, and I can just leave, like... Like, let's say I can hit her two or three times before I have to dash away. I can only stack Hangover five times. So, that would... I mean, let's say if I hit her three times, that would be... Six times eight. So, 48 damage per stack. And three stacks, that's almost 150 damage. That's 144 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Drunken Strike because it is really good. Took care of those for you, mate. Oops. Oh, that's weird. Actually, you know what? Taron, I like you. Taron, I like you. You've been such a reassuring sight. I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude. I'll give you some ambrosia. Wait, you don't have to give me something in return. It was a gift. Though, you're insisting, aren't you? 
I don't know what to say, mate. Bone Hourglass. We're gonna have some keepsakes to check out after this. This will probably will be my last run, though, of the day. We'll check out the keepsakes afterwards. Oh, this is Megara. And there you are again. Lord Hades ought to lock you up rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job. I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibilities. Oh, I dodged right into her. I'll make this quick. Oh wow, the lightning bolt actually does decently well. I need to make sure I keep killing things for battle rage. And also inflicting hangover. Protected. No. Take this time while she's casting to get some battle rage. Nope. Battle Rage. Oh no. I still have a Death Defiance at least. Battle Rage. Catch this. No, thank you. I was I was in range of her. Darn it. Oh no. Okay, I got to say the triple dash really is helpful for dealing with that particular phase. It's really easy to get out of the areas with it. Nope. No, thank you. I'm not going to catch. No! Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh! The lightning bolt got her, I think! Yes. Actually, did anyone see what killed her? Because I'm really not sure. Okay, so, I'm still working on upgrading the old spike collar. We got the Bone Hour Glass from, Ka from Charon. Uh, items from the Well of Charon have durations increased by four encounters. Okay, so the consumable items do better, and I can upgrade that over time. Uh, next boon you find will be from Dionysus. His blessings have 10% more chance to be rare or better. Okay, that can probably, like, guarantee... Uh, over, like, as I rank that up, that can probably guarantee, like, maybe epic items, like, epic blessings, or increase the chance. That would actually be really useful, potentially. And then the Shattered Shackles from Sisyphus. Your attacks, special, and cast each deal 50% increased damage when not empowered by a boon. Okay, so before I have any sort of upgrade to them. Hmm... Well, okay. That's fair. That's worth considering, at least, for something. I do like the old spike color, though. So I have 39 of 88. What happens if I take the spike color off? Just what the house contractor ordered. Should help. Oh! It drops me down to one health! Okay, that's what happens. 
Oh, and you can't change it back! Oh no! <laughs> I'm stuck on one health! Well, I'm fucked. Nah, no, I'm probably fine. Uh, I need... Coin goes in oh, I can't get that. Out. Do I still need these? I think I want all of this. Yeah, it's still really good. Oh, <sighs> okay. Okay. I got this. Heading up. Yeah. Hey Ron, did you happen to see how I killed the boss? Like what was what did the last strike? The Aspidel Meadows. Because I think either the hangover damage or the uh, lightning strike killed her. If it looked like there was nothing attacking her, it probably was the hangover damage that did it. So these are called the bloodless. I have a lot of benefits to my dodge, so I need to use it a lot more than I am. Rewarded. Hmm. I want my Thunder Dash to be better. A blessing. Okay, so darkness or key. That's really cool if it was a lighting bullet. <laughs> okay, do I want darkness or a key? Um how many keys do I have? Five currently. I do need I do need more to unlock all the weapons, so I guess I'll take the key. That's more important than the uh, darkness, really because wrong. if you have, um, there's a system, basically, when you have, like, a bunch of weapons where, uh, one of them before each run gets empowered so that you gain extra darkness while fighting with it. Wave makers. So, the more weapons you have, the more options you have for, like, being able to... Or being able to get uh, buffs to your darkness. Also, I don't know if the system is in place until you have... I'm not going into the wall. I'm not going into the water. I'm not going into the water after you. Sure, water. Let's go with water. Money or Hermes? Money or Hermes? Um. Well, Hermes is the one that gave me the dash, so maybe I'll get something special from him. I'm on very low health, but I do have the... Oh yeah, because I... Because <laughs> I swapped to the Lucky Tooth just because I wanted to check it out. So I have two Death Defiance, because I have one from Skelly and one from just normal. Oh wow, I shred armor. Where are you? There you are. It was really it's really cool having the bomb be the finisher. Oh no, fucking Gorgon, no. 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 
don't want to deal with Gorgons. They suck. Anything with a homing projectile sucks. Olympus, I accept this message. Your special is faster. That might actually make it better, but I just don't use it very often. After taking damage, quick dash to recover some some health you lost. Okay. I mean, I need well, I need health very badly, so. Health. Sold. Gain a random item offered by the Well of Charon. I can afford both of these, but I don't want the other one. Oh, <gasps> yarn of Ariande. That or Ari Air. Ariadne? Your next boon has increased rarity. That's really, really good. Wow, I have some good stuff. Battle Rage. Breach, breaching Slash. Quick Recovery. Great, greatest Reflexes. Oh, I'm starting to get powerful. Uh, I don't really want to fight a boss. So I'm going to go to this one. <laughs> I'm not very strong right now. I don't feel like... A river market. Health. I can use this. Thank you. Ooh. I'm short of coin. That must be something special, or random, or something. Oh, I have to fight a boss either way. Well, at least I'm gonna get a Zeus boon. Zeus is good. Why well, it's the barge of death. Barge of. Uh, wait, what? What do you mean the barge of death? What what the fuck? What? What is this and what's going on? I guess it's just a stay alive event thing. Okay, no, you die. Kill the easiest thing first. I don't actually know which one's the most dangerous, so I might as well pick the easiest. Must be the last of them. Oh, that's useful to know. You seem dangerous, so I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I didn't realize those were homing. Okay, well, that's my death defiance, but whatever. I, st I have more health now, at least. Oh my gosh. I have one Ambrosia left. I wonder if it would be worth it to give to Zeus, seeing as he's the, the father of the gods. Like, he's probably powerful. So I imagine his trinket might be powerful, but I mean, game logic, it might not be. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna give it to him. I gotta give it to someone I like. Ooh, the string of Ariadne really worked. Your lightning effects also make foes jolted. Victims, neck attacks, self inflicts lightning damage that harms nearby foes. Ooh. After you take damage, your foe struck by lightning, your special causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. You know what, I'll take Thunder Flourish. Let's see if I can make that into something useful. Nope, oh, wrong thing. Bark. I've come. It's definitely the farthest I've come. Okay, hold on. Controls. Boon information. Putting that on tab. That's much, much easier. Ah! Ah! That was Skelly's Death Defiance. Out of death to finds now.
No! Oh god, I ate like three of those in a row. That sucks. All set. Ten. Okay. Well, upgrading things sounds good, seeing as I don't have much money. A palm of power. Oh. I can just have it. The power of the cool. Cults. One shot. Oh, I want to keep up. <laughs> I want to keep upgrading the thunder dash because it's really cool. Diamond. Oh no. Okay, so we are going to see the second, the uh, second area boss, because this is the end of this area. We're about to beat Asphodel if we can get this. Though so we're out of Death Defiance, and we are at um, hello, ha low health. So this is the Bone Serpent. Yeah, we're at half health. <laughs> Honestly, I don't find the Bone Serpent to be incredibly hard, so hopefully this won't be too bad. Oh, he's impervious. Unfortunately, I am very low on health, because life, and there's also that. I got hit by the ground slam from one of his other heads. Oh well. No shame in dying to the, the oh, get that second area boss the first time you see him. I actually beat the, uh, hy the Bone Hydra the very first time I encountered it in my other playthrough. I got a really cool um, a buff from the Daedalus Hammer with the spear. It gave you, like, two spears on, like, like a spear on either side of your spear when you attacked. So, like, you had, like, a tri-pronged attack every time. Just ba just your basic attack. And it was, like, super powerful against everything. Owie, looks like the Bone Hydra of Asphodel just stomped you that time, huh? I hear each of its heads has its own nasty tricks. That must be tough. It was unpleasant, yes. <laughs> Ooh, I can get something can from there, from Achilles. For all us, what? Wait, you're giving me your codex? Please. I'm okay, so now I have the codex, which allows you to basically look at information for each of the enemies that you fought, as well as it lets you, like, gives you more information about um, various just. It basically gives you information on everything. And these should be the tabs for the gods. What do you want? Call my Dad. Kids, look at your desk, father. Whatever happened to your court musician, huh? Where's his sentencing parchment work? Stuck in Tartarus all because he stopped singing for you on command. My desk is far more organized than you, boy. And if you're so concerned about our court musician, why don't you commute a sentence yourself? Seeing as I haven't gotten around to it yet. Sure, happy to oblige. I'll just ask the house contractor since you're too busy. So that diamond... I'm locating the court musician's sentence when you get the chance. That diamond that we saw for beating that boss... There we go. You can free the court musician with that diamond. I have not done it yet, but it is a thing that you can do. Do I just have, like, zero... I have, like, zero gems. Oh well. I wonder where Nyx went. I could give stuff to Megara? Oh! Hey, uh, Meg. Look, uh, I know you're just doing your job out there, and anyway, found this, thought of you and all that, so here. I, I'll see to it. This contraband is put away at once. Now, take your finder's fee and go about your business. I, uh, thanks. Skull earrings. Okay, what is that? What's going on, Skelly? New one there. Okay, deal 20% more damage, what, 35% health or less? Okay, that's pretty good. 
I want to switch back to the Spike Collar, though, because I'm almost done leveling it up, and I want to finish leveling it. Even though the Lucky Tooth for the extra Death Defiance is really good. Technically, it's not actual Death Defiance. It's special. Like, it's separate because it's like Skelly's buff, basically. So it can't be recovered in the same way that Death Defiance can. It also can't be taken away in the same way. It's It's got some other eccentricities to it. Anyways, though, that was a two and a half hour stream. Feeling pretty good about that. We got really far for this stream, so I'm pretty happy about that. I want to keep streaming this in general. This might be my pick up and stream at random game, I'm thinking, because it's just, you can just start a new run and every run's different. So that is at least fairly fun. Uh, still going to keep up with Seven Days to Die. It is not going anywhere. And Path of Exile is effectively on hiatus. Uh, Mid-August, we will be having a new league coming back for Path, and I will be playing a lot of Path of Exile then. So you will see more very soon, because, I mean, it's the end of July right now, so we have two weeks-ish, and then you'll see more. Okay, thank you everyone who is here and has been here. I appreciate you all very much, and... I love that you come to my streams. Thank you. And I'll see you all later. Bye.